hey friends revolutionaries you guys have been great you guys have been so great but I've been having a lot of fun with the last couple of videos but no it is time to move on kind of get a look at something eh, a little bit more back to normal and in this case it's something that actually I'm really stoked on I got these a couple of weeks ago and uh, and wanted to make sure I got other stuff done first but now that I've done it <laughs> it's time to get a look at the South Park, well, obviously South Park, gumball, bubblegum, machine, dispenser, whatever, figures. <laughs> and you've kind of seen these already. You've seen these probably twice already. Um, with, the, uh, with the Marvel, the first run that had uh, Spider-Man and Iron Man, the Hulk, and then the later series that actually had Captain America, uh, Wolverine, uh, uh, who else is there? The Thing, Venom. They're just the uh, they're just the gumball machine toys with the big heads that actually crack open. Come out of the machine, so. And as you saw, you crack them open. Inside is the body that you just snap closed. And there you've got a cool little gumball figure, gumball toy machine figure. And I said when uh, and I said when these came out, when I first saw them, I said these are very South Park-ish with the big heads, the simple design. <laughs> they look very South Park-ish. And it was just a matter of time before someone, someone finally got the rights to do the South Park versions. And sure enough, here we go. <laughs> they finally got it. And that and it's really cool. It's really cool because I mean you can get uh, well you can get all the figures I guess you know Stan, Kyle, Kenny, Cartman, Wendy, Butters, <laughs> and uh, Token. You can get them in regular figures, the regular South Park figures, but they are going to run you know five, seven, nine, twelve dollars, whatever. In this case, these were seventy-five cents a pop. Seventy-five cents out of your local gumball machine. All you gotta do is either be lucky at the machine or have enough money to get all the figures you need. <laughs> and fortunately, I was lucky at the machine. I didn't have to, I didn't have, I didn't get too many doubles, which is great. That's awesome. I don't know if there was any more than the seven. I started getting doubles to the point where it's like, okay, I stopped. But, uh, but I don't know if there's anything more than these seven. If there is, hey, I might do a, I might do a follow up with the last one. But from what I could tell, these are the seven that are in the set. And it's a great choice. I mean, well, <laughs> it's got the core set. It's got the core four. Wendy, Butters, and Token. Hey, those are great. I, I couldn't think of anybody else I'd really want in there. Those would be the seven I would have picked. Those are really cool. Maybe Tweak. Maybe Tweak. I don't know if you could have done a, I don't know if you could do a Timmy. You probably couldn't have done a Timmy. Not without his wheelchair. But, um, but still... Really great tab, really, really cool. And uh, if you take a look, they all kind of have the same look, which of course at South Park, of course they all will. They've got kind of the, the, their, their big oval eyes, bit of a frown, and then just the look like just something out of this world just happened. <laughs> something crazy just happened. It is such a classic South Park look. And of course, we are going to go ahead and start with Stan. There is the little hole that the neck peg will go in, and <laughs> well, you can kind of hear the body in there. It's got the little rim around the the hat. It's got the little tuff up here on the top for the uh, for the little fuzz ball. But yeah, let's go ahead and uh, take a knife and peel off the plastic. And we'll do it this way. <laughs> we'll do it from the bottom. There we go. There we are. And this one actually has something on the back. Finally, there's a little something back here. It says, uh, Comedy Partners A and A China. Okay. <laughs> so, Comedy Partners Corporation, whatever. Made in China. Why not? It's got a little blue on his eye. That's okay. I've got another one that's a little bit better than this. Got a little red there. You know, not as quite as crisp on the paint as uh, as it should be. But, uh, <laughs> you know, it's 75 cents. What do you expect? Let's go ahead and uh, 
pop open his head. There we go. And got the little stand body. And he's got his jacket, his little jeans. Whoop. <laughs> Come on. There you go. And there's Stan. <laughs> that looks really cool. That looks really good. Doesn't quite line up on the side quite right. Nah, it's a bit of a bummer. And you can see the line where the one part of the hat starts and the other one stops. And it might have been, well, I mean, they couldn't really do it, but it'd be nice if there was actually a little tuft at the very top like there really is on Stan's hat. But the body is painted cool. Has brown jacket, his red gloves. Hey, I'm I'm happy with it. I'm good with it. <laughs> we'll put Stan right there. Let's go ahead and look at his best friend Kyle. And Kyle's wearing his green hat, which I think is a good thing. They didn't uh, they didn't give him his big red hair. I think that was good. They actually kept him with his green hat on. You can see there's a couple of different colors. Let's uh let's take this off and see how Kyle came out. If I don't stab myself. <laughs> I know, that's why you guys are watching. Anytime I get the knife out, everyone's out there going, oh, I wonder if he's going to stab himself this time. <laughs> there we go. Okay, cool. Yeah, and it's mainly just the green from most of the hat. And then the front, a darker green. Slightly different, uh, slightly better paint than on uh, on Stan, but there is a smudge of green there, right, right there on his cheek. But still, I mean, that's classic Kyle. Let's get him open. Oh man, <laughs> that is cool. He's got his pockets, his red poncho, well, not poncho, but but jacket. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I dig that. That is kind of cool. It's not as, it's not square. It's not like the square top of the head like uh, he should have. But hey, you know, for the gumball version, for these, for these gumball versions, I'm okay. Again, I'm okay with it. Mostly because I mean they, 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 they look good. They're, they're decent for the price, and they're a neat little collectible for anybody who loves South Park, which I definitely do. Uh, next, we've got Kenny. With, you know, which for Kenny, I mean, it's kind of hard to mess Kenny up. You know, Kenny is pretty straightforward. You know, he's got his hood, got to pull tight, only see his eyes. That's one nice thing about Kenny is this one, no, no, no expression, just the two eyes poking out. And then, Of course, we'll see how his body looks. And again, it's going to be something where I, I can't see them. Well, I'll, I'll be honest with you, I cheated. I got a, I got double of Kenny. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> oh, the uh, the uh, tape kind of peeled off part of uh, part of his uh, his paint. Oh, that's a bummer. Oh, that's a bummer. And I've already used the uh, the spare that I had. Oh, that's a bummer. Okay. Well, let's see what he looks like anyway. Kind of got the front of his jacket. Yeah. Oh, got to peel off some of the tape there. But yeah. <laughs> save uh, save the, uh, the chewed up thing there. That's not a bad Kenny. That's not too bad. Again, Kenny... A little bit harder to get wrong. <laughs> you know, Kenny is pretty straightforward. They didn't get his gloves quite right. They're not quite as dark as they probably should be. And again, being that the, the hood is a little chewed up there, yeah, that's a little bit of a bummer. But again, I, I've, I've got a spare. I do have a spare. Well, uh, so we'll, we'll get a look, at, uh, so we'll get a look at, uh, at Kenny. We'll look at him a little bit better. But uh, next, we'll get a look at Eric. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I don't care how the rest of him looks. 
just the head of Eric, just Cartman's head right there. That is just precious. That is beautiful. That is so awesome. I'm almost a little, I'm almost a little hesitant to do Cartman. I might actually, you know, what? I'm going to wait on him. I'm going to wait on him because it's something where when you look at the others, you know, the body and the head are all just the right size. You know, it's all just the right size for the, for the character. You know, I'm going to wait on Cartman because, uh, because he might just look a little too thin. We might get just too small a Cartman. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold off on Cartman for just a moment. But uh, let's go ahead and take a look at Toke. Token. I mean, honestly, it's something where... <laughs> I, never, I never really think much about Token until I see him in an episode. So getting him in the gumball machine was like, oh, Token. Okay, cool. <laughs> you know, he's, he's one of those characters I don't immediately think of. But he's still one of the very cool ones just because he... <laughs> <laughs> he gets to be the joke of so, or he gets to be the butt of so many of Cartman's jokes. Well, that came apart pretty easy, and it came off pretty easy too. But, um, but yeah, again, same kind of expression as everyone else. He lives in South Park. There's not much more you can say except for that expression right there. <laughs> but taking a look, oh, oh, take a look. <laughs> nice, very nice. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good toke. That's a good token. I don't know. I, I don't think his pants are the same purple as the rest of his shirt. But that's still a nifty look. Still a nifty look. Again, just a regular plastic body. No articulation except in the head. Where you can look left and right. And you just got to just keep it closed so it doesn't pop apart. That's not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, let's see. No, let's do Wendy next. Let's do Wendy. Wendy's actually looking really good. Wendy's actually probably one of those characters that comes off better, almost like Kenny. You know, she comes off really, really well. She wears that, wears that rounded hat, and, and just there's nothing different about the shape of her head. It's all just kind of round. So Wendy looks like she's going to be actually one of the better ones. And another thing, so far I think Wendy represents the only female character they've done from this series of, of kind of bubblegum machine toys. You know, I don't think there's been any female superheroes that have been done. So Wendy's the first girl that they've done. So, hey, a bit of a milestone there, huh? Take a look at Wendy. Again, she's got the same expression as everyone else. Got her black hair, a little button on top of her head, and see if she opens, there we go. Okay, cool, yeah, it just looks like a variation on, uh, on Stan's paint job. So exactly the same paint job as Stan, just in kind of that purple-pink kind of color. <laughs> okay. <laughs> She, she looks like one of the boys. She actually ends up looking like one of the boys in purple or pink. Something where I'm not sure, I'm not sure if that's quite as accurate as I think it should be. But it's still cool. I mean, it's still actually really nifty. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's take a look at Butters. Let's take a look at Butters. As we all know, if, uh, if, if Butters doesn't do right, he'll get grounded. So let's take a look at Butters. <laughs> and the tape comes off all the others pretty well. Poor Kenny, man. Poor Kenny. There's Butters. A little blonde, blonde hair on the top. Got a little more of the tape on the side. And, <laughs> okay, yeah. Again, kind of like reusing the, uh, the Kenny paint job. But yeah, <laughs> that's definitely Butters. <laughs> that's definitely a good Butters. <laughs> I dig that. I totally dig that. And one thing looking at Butters 
that I just kind of thought of is that um, with the uh, with the figures, if you wanted to, if you took maybe a, a sharpie marker, you might even be able to paint in the eyebrows, you know, either outside to give them kind of a worried look, or maybe on the inside to give them kind of, kind of an angry face. So <laughs> I've got some extras, you know, might do a little customizing to see what happens if we add in some eyebrows and see what happens if. You know, they're just kind of off to the side and give them kind of, oh, hamburgers. <laughs> you know? <laughs> oh, goodness. And I'm not doing any South Park voices. I'm not good at them. <laughs> so, this only leaves uh, Eric left. So, we're going to go ahead and take a look at Cartman after all. Of course, I love they give him that second chin, which is really good. Looks like on the hat, like like a lot like Stan, you can see the trim where the blue starts on one and the yellow starts on the other. A little disappointing that, that, that the uh, paint wasn't done a little bit nicer. But, again, for 75 cents, I am not complaining. I am not complaining in the least. There we go. That peels right off. Let's see if we get a skinny Cartman. Yeah, yeah, it looks like we're going to get a skinny Cartman. Not quite as big as he probably should be. No. No. <laughs> it's, it's still a fun-looking figure. It's still a very fun-looking figure, but that's way too skinny for Cartman. That's way too skinny. I mean, you look at him. Let's move him down. <laughs> I mean, it certainly looks either like some much younger Cartman, like, I don't know, like a, a kindergarten Cartman. <laughs> or who knows? You, you might get away with calling them all kindergarten versions. Do you kind of a kindergarten Cartman? Or maybe some alternative universe Cartman that's just skinny. <laughs> I don't know. They really should have bulked him up. They should have bulked up this one. I know the idea is just to use these simple pieces to come up with the characters. But, yeah, I mean, if there was one figure, one character that really needed to be, uh, to be a little more personalized, it should have been Cartman. <laughs> That's still cool. Now, uh, as I mentioned, it's something where I did get a spare Kenny. I did get a spare Kenny, oh, and <laughs> kind of go with something there. But if you group everybody together, like so, and if you happen to have a Jason Voorhees, <laughs> well, trust me, I'm going somewhere with this. If you happen to have a Jason Voorhees that happens to come with an axe, you could <laughs> carve out a, a a bit of a slot in Kenny's head if you come up with a spare one. Oop. <laughs> Let's pan out a little bit. There you go. And in a very South Park kind of moment, <laughs> a, a very real looking Jason Voorhees steps in to do the deed with Kenny. And I know, I know they haven't done it in a while. It, it, it used to be a standard thing for poor Kenny. I'm an old fashioned kind of guy. So <laughs> as, as, as with the end of any South Park episode, poor Kenny's going to die. And, and the look on, on the other's faces staring down at him, that's just perfect. So <laughs> a little gruesome, I'm sure. If you want to take some red and paint it in here and let it run down the side, it would probably be even more so, but you get the idea, and I don't think it's that that crazy for a South Park episode. <laughs> and again, the look on everybody's faces is just so perfect. Guys, hope everyone enjoyed watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, join the revolution. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.